Hey there, YouTube Nation. Knife Guy Rick here. Uh, you'll notice this is a blank table. Where is everything? Um, I'm doing something a little different. I am doing a comparison video on three of my favorite Ken Onion designs. So uh, if you've been watching the channel lately, you'll notice I, I kind of drop a couple, well, I basically dropped videos of reviewing these three knives uh, individually, and you can go back and watch those videos and, and see how you feel about them, um, see which one might be right for you. But I, I thought, because when I, I, I typically compare my knives, I typically compare them to, you know, um, to a Spyderco, you know, PM2, PM3, or a Benchmade um, Osborne um, 945 just for size and comparison. And I think those are two, of some of the most popular knives that probably, you know, two popular brands, right? Uh, those are three knives, but, uh, you know, two of the more popular brands in the knife industry, uh, at least for American made knives. Um, and I really do like the Ken Onion designs. Um, I liked them before I knew who Ken Onion was. And then after I got to know who Ken Onion was and, and the fact that he's, uh, you know, a, a sort of a famous knife designer who uh, is actually in the Cutlery Hall of Fame. Um, you know, I, I found it to be interesting. So um, these are, you know, three of the knives that I've kind of chosen out of his lineup. There are more knives out there that are kind of larger, beefier. I really like his smaller, more gentleman knives, you know, that, that he has. And so the three I have on here on the table, um, this one is the Crenshaw. Um, this one is, um, is basically, it's a, it's a two and a half inch blade. So, or just under two and a half inches. So if you have a blade that's under two and a half inches, this is, this is what you got going on here. Um, and then the Crenshaw is an American made brand. This is made in America. Uh, again, it's kind of that budget brand. This is that CRKT. Both of these are made in Taiwan, it's a budget brand. They're all right around. I mean, basically, I think you can get the budget version of this for 40, 50 bucks. This is the $80 one. This was 50 bucks. You know, I think this was 50 bucks. Maybe it's 70 if you, you know, get all blocked out or get something different with the handle, whatever it might be. Uh, but they're all kind of that same price range, you know. Uh, this one's probably the most expensive one, you know. But just however you you want to do it. Um, so this one specifically is the Scallion. So that's this size. You can get a three inch size. You can get I think a three and a half inch size. You can even get a sub uh, two inch size blade, you know. Um, and and it is the Speed Safe Assisted Opening. I think it's cool. The one gripe I have is as I've had the knife and used the knife over a year, it's not quite, it doesn't jump out as fast as it did. Um, but it hasn't broken either, right? You know, so whatever, you know, the that U-bar system that's in here seems to be legit, seems to work well. Um, it's not as crisp as it was the first day out of the box or the first two months out of the box, but it's it's nice. Do I think that that is just as fast as an auto knife. I don't know. Um, do I think this assist is faster than these? I don't think so. So I know laws have changed. When auto assist came out, it was this big gray area. It was, um, oh, you can't have a, a automatic knife or a switchblade. Guess what? We got this assist flipper and boom, you can have it you know, it's brand new. There's no laws about it. So it's legal. Enjoy yourself. Well, I think some people in some states have, you know, kind of now this an assisted opening, whether it's a push button auto or whether it's a flipper, uh, could be considered to be illegal. So even if you look at this and go, oh man, that's awesome. It's, you know, just under two and a half inch blade. That looks great. Um, you got to look at your local laws because this assisted opening could be illegal. That being said, I, if, if a cop found this on you, I, I don't know how, you know, they, I, if they'd even care, you know? I, I mean, it just depends, right? It depends on the situation, depends on the police officer, depends on the state, you know, whatever it might be. Really like the knife, like the size. I'm not the biggest fan of the speed safe assisted opening. I, I mean, it's okay. Um, 
to be honest with you, I prefer the non-speed safe, just the normal flipper, right? So this is a normal flipper and it is crisp. And I, I open and shut this thing all the time and it is just, it's crisp. Um, so both of these are uh, the CRKT. If I do it by size, this is the largest. I'm gonna put the largest one on the bottom. Sometimes I feel like the knives on top look bigger, which is weird, but. So this is by size. So this one is, you know, like almost 3.2 inches long in blade. This is just under three inch blade. We'll call it a three inch blade for fun. And this is just under two and a half inches, but let's call it two and a half. So two and a half, three, you know, 3.2, right? That's what we're looking at. Kind of the three different sizes. Um, so this is being a CRKT, it has their, um, you know, K or IKBS ball bearing system. And I am shocked at how fast that opens. You do have to hit it right, because if you don't, you know, I, I don't know, if it does it. I haven't really had a misfire, but it's, oh, there you go. See, that was a misfire. You see, if you, if you just sort of go, Sometimes you can, you can kind of, you know, it can come out soft. You know, I, I, it's not super hard and crisp, like bang every time. So you sort of got to flip it with authority if you want it to pop out fast. Um, like I said, though, the lockup, unbelievable. It's just locked tight. Uh, Oz 8 steel. All these steels feel about the same. You know, this is Oz 8. This is... Uh, 420 stainless steel, and then this is the microcrobium <laughs> like 8 uh, CR14 MOV Edo stainless steel high carbon. So, I, I mean, all these I think are you know, they're all these are three different types of steel, but they're all kind of in that same range. Um, you know, this one though, I will say I think it has the best flipping action. Bang. So if I had to choose between all of these, my number one choice, especially if you've watched the uh, indiv <laughs> individual videos, probably wouldn't be surprised. This would be my number one choice out of all three of these. Um, this would honestly be my second choice. I have a hard time finding two and a half inch blades or just under two and a half inch blades that I think are really handy, nice knives. And this is a really handy, nice knife. The size, you know, how it feels in the hand. Um, and then the, uh, the it's, it opens well. I mean, it's, you know, I just like it. I, I mean, I, I feel like it, I would carry both of these. This would be like a backup mini knife. And this might be kind of that fuller size knife. You know, I could carry both of them. Why not? And so I guess what got third place is this knife, which, you know, it, they sort of advertise it like a gentleman's knife. I think all these are kind of gentleman's knives, but they advertise it like a gentleman's knife, you know, take grandma to church with it. I just, it's such a little pokey knife. You know, it's very slender, very fine point. I've talked about, you know, should I sharpen this top point and make it like a razor blade, you know? or like on both sides, you know? Um, I don't know, I might do it, we'll see. But if I had to give one of these knives up, it would be this knife. But I really like these two, these two are probably my, this is my favorite, second favorite, you know, this is third by default. It's, this knife isn't so bad that I would get rid of it, but you know, I wouldn't, I, I'd loan this knife and not worry about it. You know what I mean? So, Either way, Ken Onions, I feel like you can't go wrong. If you want a good quality knife on a budget, both of these brands, Crenshaw and CRKT, are great brands. Um, you know, you'll notice all of these are tipped down. I, I think, you know, right now everybody wants tip up, deep carry pocket. Um, but, you know, Ken Onions old school. He doesn't, he doesn't roll like that. But I will say this, all three of these, I just drop in the pocket and not even, you know, use the, use the pocket clip. So 
Anyway, that's my uh, Ken Onion breakdown, um, comparing my three top Ken Onions. So I would say, you know, what's your favorite Ken Onion? And uh, feel free to, to drop it in the comments down there. As always, like and subscribe, and you stay sharp out there.